lose. How is Miami out of that awful you can ACC? Flip it. Another awful conference. How are they you, ranked poorly at eight or what are they? Eight or nine? Jo- they should be out of this. They the, should be out of the top twelve. You guys no, you are for- a thousand percent right. George is very good. They should be in this top ten easy for crying out loud. I would flip. I would flip Miami and Georgia just based off of what you just said, doggy. That's what I would do. Yeah, exactly. Can I jump in here real quick, Paul? Because you know we love to talk about Colorado on this program. How likely is it Please. that Colorado gets in the CFP? He's going to the playoffs. I think right now they're going to get in. Uh, I mean, they, they, it's a matter of uh, having to beat uh, the rest of the teams on the schedule, which I think they will, and then win the championship game against BYU, which I think they're very capable of. Uh, and, yeah, the, 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 I, I keep saying this because if you go back to Jackson State, which may not be a fair comparison, at the end of the, the last two seasons, there, there was a lot of speculation about, about Prime. He might be leaving, and they lost those bowl games. And I think that's that's his biggest challenge, and I think he's capable of it. And Stephen A., I know you you believe it as well, of just keeping the noise out. I mean, obviously the Dallas story is rampant, uh, which you said here the other day reverberated around the sports world. And if he can manage to do that, and I think he can, his players uh, they've shut out everything in the past. Then I think they'll win it. They'll win out and get to the playoff, and we have ourselves one of the great stories in college football history. Let, let me say this for the record for everybody where I haven't spoken to primetime Deion Sanders in weeks, really since that whole ordeal with the athletic director and them and banning the sports reporter and stuff like that, okay? I will tell you that the Deion Sanders that I've known for years absolutely positively loves coaching kids. He's, lo- he's loved it forever. I mean, when he was doing television, he wouldn't give that stuff up. I mean, he's addicted to it. But the operative word there is kids. How he feel about coaching grown men in the business that is the National Football League is the, is the $64,000 question per se. But I, and, and he's very grateful to, to, you know, Boulder, Colorado and the University of Colorado for bringing him on board. Okay, we all get that. I just find it impossible to believe that if the Dallas Cowboys of the mm-hmm. National Football League came calling them and they were in a position to grab his son in the process, yeah. that this brother would turn that down. I, it's just me speculating. No, no, I haven't no. spoken I mean, to him, but it's hard to believe. Yeah, that, that, that would be impossible, I think, to turn down. But I want to go back to something Paul said and get your opinion, dog, because obviously Paul, the voice of college football for us here at ESPN, and he just said that if Colorado makes the playoff, that will be one of the great stories in college yes, football will. history. Mad Dog, your thoughts? No, I completely uh, – I disagree with that. I think if Indiana makes the playoffs, that would be a oh. great story. Colorado's won a championship. They won a championship at Colorado back in 91. What, what James are we Madison missing? On his team. If Indiana gets to the big – gets to the 12, Steve, I know you want to jump on a Dion bandwagon, and I like him as much as you do. No, but you, you don't. cannot sit there and tell me that that story is bigger than Indiana. That's not first fair. First of all, that's first of fair. all, don't give me a first of all. That's you're not being fair. You're not being fair to imitate you. So let's get that out of the way first. Secondly, will you make up your damn mind? You just finished minutes ago. Go, go. You were going off about Indiana and how weak their schedule was and who the hell did they beat? And then now all of a sudden you're talking about it to be the greatest story in history. It's very impressive. Ten and zero when they were nine and zero last week before this past weekend. They hadn't won more than eight games of the season since 1967, the year I was born, for crying out loud. So, of course, you and I understand where you're coming from, but you killed that notion when you talked about the quality of competition or lack thereof they've gone up against. Meanwhile, here we are looking at Colorado. Primetime rolls up in there. They're 1-11. That's the program he inherits. He wins three games. He's screaming at reporters, do you believe? Do you believe? And then proceeds to lose six straight and seven and eight weeks. Everyone leaves them for dead. They go up, they get four and eight on the season. They come into this year. They're projected moving from the Pac-12 to the Big 12. They're projected to finish 11th. 11th. And they go out there and they go 7-2. and two. They've locked up second place. They could possibly beat BYU and take the division. On top of it all, make the college football playoff. The two years removed from a 1-11 season, that is one of the biggest stories in college football history. And prime time and the job that he's doing, coach of the year, doggy. Coach of the year, Travis Hunter, Heisman Trophy winner. Shador Sanders, 
top quarterback pick in the upcoming NFL draft. That's a trifecta, doggy, in case you didn't know. Now, Paul, he talks about people bailing out on Colorado last year after the good start. I didn't see Stephen A. on the sidelines after they started to lose some ball games last year and had a terrible season. He was there for the USC game. He was there early in the year, and he took Shannon Sharp and didn't have to take you with me. But when they started to lose, he washed his hands of Colorado football. Hold on. Let's talk, be talk, fair. Talk, talk, Doug, Don't be a Paul phony. Paul Feinbaum, Paul Feinbaum, you know why. You know why, Paul. Because... I if Listen, I got choices I, to go certain places, you're, you're, I ain't going to choose to go to Boulder, Colorado. Go ahead, Paul. But, but, but I want to say one thing, Molly, before we go. Uh, Doggy, you're wrong. Stephen A., this year, when, when I was writing them off and you were writing them off and everyone else was writing them off, he stood by and kept pointing out what Prime was doing. I didn't see it. But I see it now, and you're wrong. This is a much better story. I mean, Indiana, is, it's a nice story, doggy. Let's wrap our arms around them. But the, but the whole country, the whole, the whole world of sports yeah. will be talking about Colorado. Nobody's talking about Indiana if they make the playoffs. Yeah, and it's got a cultural well, impact. I'm got to leave it there. Outside of Indiana. BYU, it's going to be unbelievable. Hey, Russo, we're done. Coming up. Still to come, after a huge 